Imagine having a powerful, scalable, and managed database at your fingertips where you can store and assess your data with ease. Welcome to the world of Amazon Web Service and their revolutionary relational database services, or AWS RODS. In this exciting journey, we will embark on a step-by-step -step adventure, guiding you through the process of setting up your very own MS SQL database on AWS RODS and importing data from your computer to this cloud-based marvel. But first, let's understand the magic behind AWS RODS. RODS provides a seamless, fully managed database solution, leaving you with more time to focus on your database and application and less time managing infrastructure. With industrial standard-based security, automatic backup, and high availability, your data is always safe and accessible whenever you need it. Today, we'll be using MS SQL as our database engine. Don't worry if you're new to AWS or databases. I'll guide you every step of the way. So buckle up and get ready to unlock the true potential of your data with AWS RDS. Before we get started, make sure you have your AWS account ready to go. If you don't have one yet, don't worry. I will provide a link in the video description where you can sign up and even get free usage credits to try things out. So let's log in into our AWS account. So I'll log into mine. Next, click on next. Um, I already have my passwords. Click on signing. Type in your password and click on signing. If you're using RODS for the first time, it will not show you the recent visited. For you that haven't used RODS for the first time, go to your search and type RODS. It will pop up like this and click on it, RODS. You click on create database then come to engine option you will leave it on standard create come to engine option we have we have different engine type we have aurora we have we have aurora my sql we have aurora postgres sql we have my sql we have maria db postgres db Oracle, but you're going to be using Microsoft SQL Server. So select Microsoft SQL Server, then scroll down. We'll leave the database management type as it is. We'll leave the addition as it is. We're going to leave the engine version as it is. We are using we are using template of we're using the template of dev slash text. We're going to leave that one as it is. For the data for the um, DB instance identifier, you can create a unique DB name. So I'm going to give my my King's Rise 2023. So your credential setting, um, the username, we're going to leave it admin. If you want AWS to manage your credential, you select Manage Master Credential in AWS Secret Manager. If you want to auto-generate a password, you can select auto-generate a password. But for this, I'm going to use my own master password. So I will, I will type my password. I will type it here again, confirm master password. So type the password here again. So we're going to go to for this project, I'll be using the, I'm going to be using the dbt3.small because the data we are going to be using for this project is going to be little. So let's scroll, let's scroll down. Everything is going to be as it is. 
um everything is gonna be as it is we're gonna we are gonna use the default vpc for public access you're gonna click yes because you want to access it publicly and for the vpc security group is gonna be as it is and every other thing will be as it is and you click create database So it might take some minutes to set up, close this one. Our database is ready to rock. Now let's click on our database, which is um, King's Rise 2023. Click on it. Um, we are going to need the endpoint, but before we, but before we go into our Microsoft Management Studio, let's go to our VPC and set up our inbound rule for we to assess this database engine in our Microsoft Management Studio. So click on it. So this is the details. So let's um, click on inbound rules. Click on edit inbound rules. We already have, we already have my SQL TCP fourteen three three set up, and this is uh, my, and this is my IP address. So if you if you don't have this my SQL TCP fourteen three three port ring set up. You can go to add inbound rule, click on add rules, and you see custom TCP. Come here and type 1433, which is the port you're going to be accessing a database engine from. For your IP address, come to your browser and type what is what is my IP and click. What is my IP address? And click enter. So it will it will bring you to what is my IP address. Click on it. So this is your so this is your IP address. You will copy it. Copy it and come to your AWS RDS security group inbound rule we just open and come here and paste it and and put slash 35 for me i have or i already have it so it will not prompt me so for you this is what you will do and click save for me i'm gonna delete it so click on delete and click save and and then click save rules so let's go to our microsoft management studio click on your search and click and type sqs sql server management studio so click on your sql manage so click on your sql server management studio click on it So it will open your Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. For you to connect to the RDS database engine we created, go to your AWS RODS. Click on it and go to your AWS RODS and type your RODS. Type your RODS. Click on it. Come to the RODS we created. Go to your databases. Then come to the database we created. Click on it. 
then come here and copy this endpoint. So come to your endpoint and copy your endpoint. So you copy it. Control C, copy it and come to your Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio and come here and paste it. Control P, Control V, come here and paste it. And the admin part, the, the login will be the login that we created when we are creating our RDS. So, so type admin and um, type in the password you created when you were setting up your RDS. So let me type in my password. So let's connect to our database engine. So we have connected to our database engine. So after logging in into your database engine, left click and click on tax. Click on tax, come down to import data and select import data. Click on the wizard will open, then click on next. Source data, come here and choose flat file source. A pop-up will open under the file name, click on browse. So under this text file, click the drop down and click on all file. I'm going to be using this bank stock SQL CSV. Let me rename it. Let me rename it because let me just call it bank, bank, bank data. So I'm selecting it, click open. It's a CSV file, so it's a bank data CSV file. So you can use any CSV file you want, but if you want the CSV file, I'll put the link in the description below. So click on next. So this is the file, so click on next. Under this, under the destination, select select Microsoft OLDB provider for SQL Server. So you select SQL Server authentication. Then type in the username and password you created when you were setting up your AWS RODS. Is my is admin, and I'm going to type in my password. So it's asking you if you have a database. I don't have a database, so I can create in click on new to create a new database. So I'm going to call this database financial. Financial underscore data data um, data set. I'm going to call it financial underscore data set. I'm going to click OK. So it has created a new database for me. So I'm going to click next. So if you want, if you want to change, it will create a new table for you, and the table name is going to be bank data. It will use the the name of the CSV file you imported. So it's from my is bank data. So if you want to change it, you can come here and change it. You can call it for I can change it to bank stock. So that will be the name of my table. You can change the name. So you, you click next 
and you click um you click next and you click finish so it will initiate everything so so the total number the total number of rules is um five thousand seven hundred rows transfer so it has in so it has created the database and table for us so click on close so he said the execution was successful so click on close so look at that our data is now securely stored in our aws rods database it's incredible how easy and powerful cloud computing can be so click on close then um click on refresh you can see our new database click on it click on the plus sign so let it expand it click on tables So you can see our table, which is the, the bank stock table. So let's um, click on the plus and click on the columns. So this is the um, columns of, this is the columns of the data. This is the columns of the data we imported into our database. Let me show you, let me show you an Excel sheet of the table we imported into our RDS database engine. So click, let me show you. Let's, let me go to my download folder. And this is my download folder. Click on it and click on, this is the bank data we, this is the bank data we imported. So double click on it. So this is actually the data we imported. So you can see it has, a date you can see it has a um you can see it has a date price low price closing price number of share total um spread spread close open so you so let's check the number of data the number of rows so you can see that the rule is um five hundred and five hundred and eight, which is what we imported successfully. So congratulations, you have just learned how to set up an AWS database using MS SQL and, and import data into it from your computer. But don't stop here. Explore the endless opportunity AWS offer for your data and unleash the true potential of your application. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more exciting tech adventure. Until next time, happy coding.